Hi, this is Terry from Rock Solid Technical Services, and I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to copy a virtual machine from one ESX host to another using Veeam Fast SCP, add it to inventory, and then power it on to see everything is intact. I already have two ESX servers connected via the vSphere clients. Dot 204 where we see student 101 virtual machine running currently and dot 205 where there's another virtual machine student 102 which is not running we'll go ahead and run veeam fast ICP as you can see I already have the servers added in dot 204 is so we're going to copy 2 if you go to the VMFS folder expand that expand volumes and expand data store you'll see the existing student 101 virtual machine and all of its files required for that virtual machine to run we'll go ahead and expand dot 205 Then go to the VMFS folder, Volumes folder, and Data Store, where we have the folder for the virtual machine that we want to move, Student 102. If you click on that folder, you see all the files required for that virtual machine. This virtual machine is not running at this time. If you right click on that folder, Student 102, in the left hand pane, and select Copy. go back to the ESX host that we want to copy to and expand that and if they aren't already expand the VMFS folder volumes folder and again data store you can see the existing student 101 in there we want to right click on data store and select paste this begins the copy process to copy the folder that we selected for student 102 to the data store directory on the ESS host 204. I'll give it a second to get an estimate of how much time it'll take to copy over the 12 gig worth of files. and it looks like about five minutes or so. I'll go ahead and pause the video while we wait for those to copy over, returning just before it finishes. Okay, about 15 seconds before that finishes copying. As you can see, all we have right now is student 101 in this data store directory. As that finishes up, we'll see that change and add student 102 to the .204 ESX host. Here it is. The data store directory now has student 101 and student 102 and the required files to run that virtual machine. Now let's go ahead and go back to ESX host .204. As you can see it still only shows student 101 in the inventory. Click on the SX host and what we want to do is add student 102 to the inventory so that we can power that machine up. So if you click on the SX host and then click on summary in the right hand pane and then right click on the data store under resources we're going to browse data store so that we can find those files and add to inventory here in the left hand pane you see the contents of the VMFS folder student 101 and student 102 click on student 102 
and then in the right hand pane you want to right click on the .vmx folder student102.vmx right click and select add to inventory the add to inventory wizard comes up asks for a name it will default to the virtual machine name you can change it but it's not advised we're gonna go ahead and leave it at student 102 select next make sure the resource pool is selected select next and then finally finish to complete adding to inventory now we see on the left hand pane student 101 and student 102 are showing up under ESX host.204 we can close the data store browser Now we'll go ahead and power up student 102 so that you can see that the copy completed successfully. We'll highlight student 102, open up a console window, power on the copied virtual machine. You get a virtual machine question. It's because the UUID was altered and it wants to know if this was moved or copied so that it can take care of networking and management features. We're going to make sure that copied is selected and then click OK. The Student 102 virtual machine is booting up into Windows XP Professional. Give it a second to complete the finish booting. And there we are. Our copied virtual machine named Student 102 is up and running and operational. Thank you for watching.